one. Gosh darn, that was bright. Local John 1812, guys, and... Big Country. That's right, Big Country with me right here in the uh, pickup truck. And this is a simulated podcast that we're going to call Wasting Time. Now, Wasting waste Time. <laughs> That's beautiful. And wasting Time is wasting time for you or wasting time for us. But either way, we hope you get something out of this. Funny, uh, laughter, maybe some seriousness. Uh, We'll try to uh, touch all kinds of different topics. We don't have a set thing. We're going to let the conversations just flow. Kind of like what we would do or like you would do with your friend when you get picked up for work at 5.45 a.m. when you're supposed to have breakfast with everybody starting a new job. Yeah. That's an inside thing. Yeah, but that's an inside thing. That's an inside thing. We also got this fancy little light at the bottom. It makes our faces and everything looks bright in here. But watch this, guys. Are you afraid of the dark? That was a light. But we're back. <laughs> we didn't go anywhere, Scooby-Doo. <clears throat> okay, so we may cruise around too. We may drive. We don't know. I don't know if we'll be able to flip the camera around. We got it all set up. And I'm afraid I if I do something. Flip it around. Well, I would turn. I don't even want to turn it. But we. I guess we have to use that light because I'm not driving with that on. No. Whenever we start to move, we want to give you guys a heads up. Sometimes if we start to move, we'll either turn those on or you guys will get a kind of like a little darkness and we'll have that on. Okay, so either way, right now we're sitting still. So I think the first thing I wanted to talk about tonight with wasting time was the Olympics. That's a big thing. We can turn these off now. Oh. That, that's a big thing. You got that pilot? Pilot turns off. That's, that's a big thing right now is the Olympics. I don't know if you've been keeping up with it, but I have. And here's what I want to talk about, though, with the Olympics. It's not about who's doing good or how many gold medals, which we started whooping butt in the pool yet just yesterday, and I don't know what we did tonight. Uh, Lily King from Evansville, she yeah. was going to be doing her uh, backstroke and all that kind of stuff. So I, I didn't get to see that yet, and I messed the primetime event, so we're, should, I'm behind on they that. They have cardboard cutouts in the, in the stands. I think some places were allowing some of the, like the USA team members and different no, team fill members. No, fill it full of cardboard cutout. You, they've done something like that before, and they, in the NBA they did digital screens, like and they put them in the arena for people's faces from at home. They did that in the wrestling too, I think. Yeah, they did. Yes, they did. Yeah. But here's okay, back. See, that's what's gonna happen. Okay, side side conversations on top of the conversations. All right, so here here's what my, this is kind of like a uh, what I'm kind of. I'm not going to say angry. I'm disappointed. Okay, here, here's why I'm disappointed. I get on Twitter, right? Mm -hmm. And, like, as soon as someone wins a medal, there's, like, someone on there dogging about how the person should have won. Well, they only got bronze. The old America would have won gold. Who are we sending? This is ridiculous. And then I hear a bunch of other people I don't really hear because they're just typing but I see a bunch of other tweets and this is on Twitter and some on Facebook I don't really get on Instagram and all that that much but on Twitter right the gram? Instagram the gram that's some the hip the hipster kids call it the gram I mean the gram used to mean something different well no no no, no. the gram for me means graham crackers like cinnamon and sugar I don't know what it means for you but <laughs> well conversation for a different day but. that's right but okay so I see some of them say this well America is just not what it used to be and the Olympics are not what they used to be and all that and I'm like I am so sick and tired the only reason why things are not like they used to be is because you the person typing that you're allowing your life not to be the way it used to be I'm like I mean, I'll just be honest with you I'm right now I would say this my life is pretty well still the same well, well is it isn't it the uh, status quo of this generation? Well, not this generation, but this day and age for everybody to be butthurt and have some ill feeling over something. True. Yeah. And 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 also too, we'll we'll put it this way: just because we say this generation, we're not just meaning millennials, because. Yeah. Uh, there's some older people that are 65, 70 years, even 70 or higher, that feel the same way. They really do. Like, it's not just a one set of age group right now. It's like a mixture of people, like 40%, 47% or something of the country is kind of like know. that. I can't count something. I, I, yeah, I, 
I would venture to say 40. I don't know. You know. And then there's like 40, 40, where it's like that makes up 80%. And then there's 20% of the world that's kind of like, I would say kind of like myself. And I don't know if I put you in this category or not because I don't want to speak for you. But kind of like I'm in the middle. I can see sometimes what some of the people are saying on each yeah. side. But I'm also in the middle going, just shut the heck up. Yeah. And get back to the way things should be. Yeah, but that's nothing's gonna change. Things are things are different. And they're not gonna change back to the way they should be. It's, it's not gonna happen. Um, I just uh, <clears throat> I think that no matter what you do anymore, somebody's gonna be upset or hurt over something somebody says. So I mean, it's it's just the way things are now, unfortunately. Um, as far as the Olympics go, <laughs> yeah. uh, I would have to have some heavy medication to watch the Olympics. Oh, I love, but I mean, uh, see, but I love, but see, COVID or nothing like that has done that. Like, you're just saying, are you saying that you never really got into the Olympics at all I anyways? Didn't like. So COVID or the way the country going has nothing to do with that. Right, right. Okay. So you're a little bit different opinion. It's, it's less than, oh, things have changed and I don't want to be a part of it no more. Right. Do we have a visitor? We're checking. We might have a visitor. Oh, it's a pizza visitor. There's a pizza man coming? Not for us. We should get ordered pizza one time for our conversations. What if I would just like backed out and just like plowed into the pizza <laughs> That wouldn't be, that wouldn't be funny. That wouldn't be funny. Well. <laughs> I mean, it wouldn't be your fault. Man, what? Because I think, here's another thing that bugs me. All right, guys, comment down below if you agree with this. Pizza individuals should wear reflective clothing. They're not tow truck drivers. But they're delivering pizza boxes real late at night. They're, they're not like delivering pizzas on the side of the interstate. Well, if you ride a bicycle at after dark, you have to wear reflect. You should be wearing reflective. But they're in a car. But when they get out of the car, like you almost just hit one. I didn't almost just hit him. If he would have backed up, he would have almost hit one. So it counts well, as almost. Well, that's because he parked behind my truck. That's an almost. But he, Did he park behind your truck? Yes. That's blocking your driveway. But if he's wearing reflective clothing, I'm not going to see that in his car. So should his car have, besides his headlights, oh, no. should it have reflective no. like Velcro pieces no. on it? No. No? No. Dumb idea. Dumb idea. People would have to get paid just, to put the Velcro pieces just, on there. I'm like creating that. jobs. <laughs> Don't speaking, know about jobs. Speaking of jobs, how many people are you seeing that are hiring? <laughs> There's quite a few. And I, I was talking to Ruby about this, which is camera mom. I was talking to her about this. I didn't, I have never seen this growing up as a kid and into my young adult age to I'm middle age now. I've never seen so many restaurants or places just having signs that said, basically screaming, we're hiring. I've never seen this. No, no. And that, that's because, I mean, that's the... Oh, that's got a lot to do with the unemployment thing, and um, I mean, it's just I don't, I don't know if it's got a lot to do with the unemployment thing, or if it's partially because everybody's afraid they're going to get COVID, or or Delta, or Delta variant, or <laughs> Ramaswamy variant, or whatever they're going to call it next week. Yeah. So, I mean, you know, if, if people people make their own decisions, and if they want to sit at home and not make a paycheck that's that's up to them but ultimately they're just hurting the economy right you know so. it, you know definitely not a uh, good thing I at one point in time people were making like probably double or maybe even triple what they usually make at their regular jobs so I don't know if that's true well, I mean I, you know I think, I think some of the states are still doing the unemployment like it was like an extra amount yeah I think some states are still doing it I don't quote me on this, but I think Indiana is not anymore. That's yeah, and, and I don't, you know, if it wasn't double or triple, you know, I don't want anybody to comment down below, idiot, you know what you're talking about. It was more than what they were making. Yeah. It was more than regular, what they were used to unemployment. Well, well essentially the government was paying people to stay at home. Yeah, So people got used to it. Yeah. And now they don't, maybe, maybe, we're not speaking for everybody, maybe some don't want to go back. I'm just waiting for my assistant essential worker check to go in that. You think they'll give that? No, they won't. But. They, uh, at uh, Camera Mom's work, they gave out uh, well, 
an extra pay for they call them hero pay or hero. I don't know if it was called hero. I'm, I'm just saying something like that. Oops, uh, essential. Uh, it was essential workers, but they, they, you know how the bills were labeled stuff. See the first workers or whatever. See the the, the way the way the. Uh, it might have been a Costco thing. Too. The way we we label things anymore kind of cracks me up too, because you know, um, like. So everybody on here doesn't know, but I'm a truck driver by trade. And I've been to numerous, like, I can't say the name of them. I've been to certain warehouse organizations where they would have signs out front that says, Heroes work here. Essential, I get it. Heroes. Not necessarily. I, I, I don't see how you're a hero. Yeah, because you're essentially still doing the same job. You're doing the same job you, you, were, doing you were supposed before. to do. And I know it's dangerous, right? Not it, if you're working in a warehouse and stuff. True, true. If I guess you getting know, tested every day and everybody's wearing masks. Right. So I, suit. I would have saved the hero thing for like, you know, the nurses and doctors, cops and I firefighters. Those make sense. Those deserve hero titles all the time. Yeah. You know what yeah. I'm saying? But I will say. I would give to some of the warehouse and truck driving and in restaurants and grocery stores, I'll give you guys more of a little bit of round of applause because you still went out there and did the stuff even though it was your normal thing that you were doing. You know, that they had to make some sacrifices too. And there was some fear with it too. So I, I'm not gonna say necessarily I completely disagree with them getting extra money, but maybe labeling the term hero is kind of, but that might've been something different. But that, but still, they're good essential workers. They're good people, though. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing. I'm not. I'm not bashing people in their jobs, but just saying the hero thing. Eh, maybe not so much. You know, because in the uh, beginning of COVID, you know, uh, truck drivers were considered heroes, and now that a lot of people believe COVID is over, COVID is lessened. Well, the 19's over, but Delta's here. Yeah. Go ahead. I don't believe. I'm not, I'm, I'm not going to get into that because I'm not even worried about that. But go ahead. But we're no longer heroes. We're back to being third-rate citizens again. Yeah. So you know, it's just whatever. Whatever is good for the populace at the time, I guess is. Whatever makes sense for their agenda. Yeah. Yeah. What's What's ever best for the agenda. So. Is it? <laughs> no. No. It's a, It's one of those vapor things. Yeah. I don't, I don't know about the vape. I don't vape. Dan don't vape. I don't vape. Big country doesn't vape. Okay. All right. Here's my other thing that I was kind of upset about for a little bit. Two upsetting things. But they're not as upsetting as you think. Like, like nothing sad, sad. But I guess it's sad in a way. What, are you at a concert? He keeps opening the lighter as if he's at a concert. <laughs> Will I do that? Open it up and do this real quick. Wave it. Wave it. Yeah, there you go. Watch it, gonna catch my hair on fire. Okay, so. <laughs> oh! Alright, so here's the thing that I don't really, um, I didn't get. I, said, I, I mean, I get it, but I don't. Okay, so here's Walmart. Go back to 24 hours. I'm tired of it. Yeah. I'm tired of you closing. Well, what do you got to clean extra? Well, like, were y'all dirty before? Like, I don't get it. How often do you go to Walmart late at night? It doesn't matter. The fact that I could go at 3 a.m. makes me feel happy. The fact that I know now that at 3 a.m., if I need milk, like I wake up, I need milk, I can't go out to Walmart. You're just mad that you don't have the ability to go at 3 a.m.? Right, right. I mean, I've never went at 3 a.m. Never. Maybe. I have. You have? I've walked around. So you, you're Walmart. sad. You're sad then. I'm not really sad. I find other things to do at 3 I mean, do you feel a little sad? No. Like just a tiny bit? No. <laughs> Like, I mean, uh, no. One percent uh, sad. Uh. One percent angry. I was only mad about it one time. Okay, he's mad. See, I told people only I'm mad about one time. <laughs> I just see an end you. No, I don't want to do that. I, I, I didn't. No, no. <laughs> We're not like that. We. Go ahead. <laughs> I didn't have nothing to drink at the house, and Walmart could have. 
help See? fix that problem. And they're not open like that anymore. They were busy cleaning. So they're not open like that anymore. So what are you guys going to do? They were cleaning. Yeah, they're, they're cleaning now? I guess. But they close at like uh, 12. I thought it was 11. Maybe 11 or 12. Uh, I got to clean you on it. He's tired. Walmart's not open. Okay, another thing that with the time frames, I go by Captain D's, which if you don't know what Captain D's is, if you're familiar, like a, a Long John Silver's, you know, if you're not familiar with a Long John Silver's, I would say like a um, another fish type fast food place. Uh, Bojangles? Is that a burger place? Captain D's. No, I know. No, I just said Captain D's and Long John's, but I'm saying another one to give them example if they don't know who Captain D's or Long John's is. What's another fast food style? Because you're a trucker, you may know. Uh, is there another one, really? Not really. Because Red Lobster is set down, right? Okay, so it's fish, all right? It's fish. But it's I like it, okay? It's good. And Who so... Who Red Lobster? No, I go to Red Lobster sometimes. Unless you're like... During tax season. 80 years. Did you hear me? During, during tax season. Why do we go during oh. tax season? Because it's when we have extra money to go to spend only, like eighty dollars for dinner. Only eighty year olds go to Red Lobster. We're okay. No, we're gonna get back to that. But hold on, hold on. Put a pin in the can. Right, here was <laughs> here's my thing about the whole situation. Okay. All right. They were closed at seven p.m. Like, how do you close at seven p.m. Right? And then I found out it wasn't because of COVID. It's because of just not having the workers. Yeah. There's, I mean, there's 4,000 available jobs in Evansville right now, so. 4,000. And we, and remember, whenever I talked to you about this before, back in the day, I mean, you know, during the different seasons, you might be anywhere between 400 needed to maybe 1,000 or a little bit more. But we're talking, if it's at 1,000 most of the time, four times the amount. Four times the amount. Can't fill the darn jobs. So they closed at 7 p.m., and they're not the only ones doing this. I've noticed other restaurants doing this and Walmart mm -hmm. not being open till 24, 24 hours, which I didn't like that. But who goes to Walmart at 3 a.m. like we were saying? I, I go to Walmart sometimes at 3 a.m. You don't go to Walmart. I didn't. No, I didn't. I'm lying. I just wanted to the convenience of my idea that it could be open at 3 a.m. And maybe I need to run out there and grab some like Tylenol for my dog or something. For your Okay, first off, I do not give my dog Tylenol because that's wrong. And PETA people, please don't be mad at me. And I'm not talking about the bread. Tylenol? Yeah, I don't give my dog Tylenol. It's a lie. You do. <laughs> do not. He said something like it. You heard him on camera. Go ahead. Keep I give going. my dog's melatonin. Whoa. Whoa. Mountain hey, Deuce. No. no <laughs> melatonin is completely safe to give to your pets. Well, what else is safe to give to a dog, you know? Um, dog food? That, that's smart. Yeah. No, <laughs> that's, it's freaking smart to give dogs right. dog food. That's right. Okay, so that's what I just feel about the restaurant industry right now. And I'm pretty upset because I drove down through some of my neighborhood uh, where I live here in Evansville, Indiana. And my God. Oh, man. There's like so many people holding up signs saying they're hungry and need a job. And I like to help people. You know, you're a helper. You, you don't mind helping somebody out, right? You don't, you know what I mean? You're not gonna go out of your way completely, but like a friend or a family, you're not one of those people even with a friend. You'll, 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 you would stop and help your friend change a tire. I mean, I'd hold the tire. you look at him and talk to him. I would, I would give them moral support. <laughs> so you're not completely a rude jerk no. when it comes to someone who may be down on their luck. Cause we've all been there, right? Yeah. We've all been there. Yeah. But I'm just saying, sometimes I feel like saying there's 4,000 available jobs. Let me get you Let me get you a suit and, and help you get cleaned up and maybe get the proper documentation together and we'll get one of these jobs that are available. But I don't want to be like, that's a rude thing to say. I'm not trying to be rude. What I'm trying to do is I want to help the person beyond $5. Right. What's that old analogy? Uh, uh, give, what is it? Teach a man, right? It's like give a man some food and... He'll eat for a day, but teach a man to fish, and he'll eat forever or whatever. Yeah, he'll eat for a lifetime. For a lifetime. Yeah. What if a lifetime was only that day? 
I mean, technically, you fulfilled your goal. <laughs> yeah, but what is? It's like he's only he's only gonna eat one day, but then if you do this, he'll feed, he'll feed a lifetime, and also he gets hit by a bus a day. That that would be my. Uh, <laughs> be your that, luck. that would be my my proof that it's true. <laughs> I told you. I would use him as a case study. <laughs> oh <right>. gosh. But um, but he only lived like twelve yeah. hours after you talked to him. That's it. I'll turn on our. Uh, oh. We need our Air Force lights on. Sorry, guys. We have lost our light, which means our podcast is over that for is the time night. time to go. We have to go. We ran out of our ET light. It's past my bedtime. Anyways. Yeah. He's got to be up in the morning because he has a pancake breakfast to get to. Yeah. Okay. I don't know if it's pancakes. I don't know. We're going to hold hands and kumbaya or something. <laughs> Whatever it is. Wish him luck. So, guys, this is it for our first podcast. What do you think about it? It was special. Not an ideal situation. No, no. I kind of like the setting here. We should hold hands next time. It's peaceful. We should hold hands next time. Yeah. So I'm Local John 1812. I say 1812 all the time on food reviews. I'm Local John, and this is? Big Country. And this was wasting some time with this podcast. And we'll be back again with another one next week. But we're also going to do some challenges. Is that correct? Yes, that's the plan. So with the challenges... We need your guys' help. So if you can comment down below, maybe some challenges you can maybe, think we can do. Maybe some challenges, maybe some uh, product review stuff. Let us know some product reviews you maybe challenge us. Also, feel free to give us a topic or two or whatever you may think. Yeah. We'll, we'll look them over. Doesn't necessarily mean we'll talk about them, but we might keep them in the back burner of our mind and we might use them. Yeah, yeah. So we'd really appreciate it, guys. So uh, that's all we have for now. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share. And until next time, guys. Happy podcasting, and we'll catch you later. Wasting time.